three receivers once again with Ertz in the slot inside of Aguilar to the far side. Wentz back, looking, stepping up, firing, touchdown! He's got Goddard, the rookie, with his first NFL touchdown. Joining me this week for Eagles tape study is Eagles tight ends coach Justin Peel. Well, tight ends had a big day last week against the Colts, not only in the passing game, but in the run game. Let's take a look at your rookie tight ends first career touchdown here in the red zone from Carson Wentz. It was fun to see him get in the end zone. Obviously, yeah, lined up right here. Actually, we have all three of the tight ends are on the field right now, and we have a corner called. Carson makes a check at the line of scrimmage, sees something that he likes, and Dallas does a nice job getting speed up the field, and then they got a little sideways on this, and Dallas is able to pop free. Nice little dead spot right over here. Obviously, a great play for the young man. Perkins does a nice job getting his spot right down here, and, you know, we have either one of them, but just the way the play unfolded, Dallas was able to get in the end zone. And when you're down in this red zone, coach, I mean, it is critical for defense. You can't have any mistakes down there. Offense is going to take no. advantage of that. No, and, and it goes the same way with us, too. You yeah. know, we've got to be on the same page. You know, Carson saw something, and then Dallas was right there with him and able to get a uh, touchdown. Like I said, happy for the young man. First NFL touchdown. And you know, in this offense, you're going to play this position. Not only is it a must that you catch the ball, but if you're going to be a part of this thing, you're going to have to be able to block as well in the most, run game. Most definitely. And uh, Dallas has done a nice job. He's really worked hard at it through training camp and once he's gotten in here. And this is a nice job. Actually, both these guys, uh, um, JP and Dallas, right? They got the, uh, the front slanting away from him. JP comes off his block. And now these two are able to double team this defensive end. And Dallas is able to ricochet off on this linebacker. Really does a nice job here at the end, finishing across the ball. And really, we always stress, you know, you got to finish your play, finish the block. He does not very nice. I mean, gets him all the way to the other hash. Big and now night. we're able to pop this thing out free for another young rookie making a making a splash play yeah big day in the run game for the Eagles last week all three of their backs over 150 yards combined and again we're talking about a young guy teaching him how to finish blocks understanding how to tandem blocks with the uh, offensive lineman and he's he's really progressing yeah he's done a nice job and this is he does a really good job right here coming off staying square using his feet and his hands keeping a good base about him you see his feet never get crossed over nice good low pad level and you can see his hands are inside that's what we always talk about I don't want to see your hands out here on the framework of the body because that's when the officials get involved right that's when those little yellow flags come out so he does a nice job rolling off the ball good feet and just pins this guy now I would would like him to keep his guy in there but we could progress to that and then our other one of our other tight ends Josh Perkins was out we had him lined up at wide receiver he was split from the formation and he had to make a decision between the corner or the safety in this situation he chooses the safety which is the right decision because that safety started back here and then he came down Josh does a nice job of being flat down the line go to where he's going to be not where he's at just gets enough of him, nice clean block, and gets him out of the hole so uh, Corey could get another extra three or four yards. You brought up a great point about his head placement. Yeah. His head placement is in front of that defender, so that keeps him getting a block in the back. Exactly. And we take a look at your guys here. Late in the game, big pass play here for the offense. Yeah, we, uh, we, you know, we've pulled this play out a couple times, and it's ideal if you could get these two safeties right here, that cover two, and then obviously you'd like to get the mic, which he does here. He cooperates with us, and he opens the speed. He opens to Nelly. So right here, what we were talking about all week was you're telling Dallas, look, we need combine speed down the field. We need you as fast as you can down the field and then go to the corner so you could stress this guy out. And Zach, we told him you need to kind of tempo your release. Let Dallas clear the court for you. And then as you get up to about 8, 9, 10 yards, once this backer opens that way, there's a nice little dead spot right here. And again, balls are thrown in rhythm on, on time by Carson. It's a nice big play for us. Good job catching the ball, protecting yourself. And like I said, that was a big play. It was a big momentum swing for us. Tape Study is brought to you by Chickies and Pete's, proud partner of the Philadelphia Eagles.